Mr. LaBeouf here again for x squared minus 4x minus 12, part 3. I think this will be the last part for that particular function. We're now going to find the two x-intercepts of the graph of this function by use of the famous quadratic formula. And uh, our, our standard form quadratic function is ax squared plus bx plus c. And, of course, we say that A cannot be zero because if A were zero, then uh, it wouldn't be quadratic. If A were zero, you wouldn't have the x squared term. So that's the standard form quadratic function. And if we set the standard quadratic function equal to zero and solve for x, in other words, if AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero, then x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And uh, anyone can get to the point where they can say it just that fast. It's like riding a bicycle. Once you learn, you never forget. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, uh, the quadratic formula is not really a different method of solving a quadratic equation than completing the square that we just looked at. The quadratic formula is nothing more than completing the square with all the work done for you. Uh, I strongly recommend that any serious student of algebra learn not only what the quadratic formula is, but how to get to it, how to derive it. And I'm hoping that that will be the subject of a future video. But now we take up our same function and we simply uh, plug in the values of a, b, and c into the quadratic formula, and we will have the two zeros or the two values of x that will make the function uh, equal to zero. And in the case of our function, a is 1. When there's no uh, coefficient parent, no, no visible coefficient, of course it's 1. The b is negative 4, and the c is is negative 12. And of course, uh, when we write out the standard form of a quadratic function, ax squared plus bx plus c, those letters don't have minus signs in front of them, but they could. Uh, a letter can stand for a negative number. That's one of the uh, important things to learn about algebra from the very beginning. And so now we'll just plug in. And we will say that x equals the opposite of b, negative b is really the opposite of b. Uh, b here is negative 4, so the opposite of negative 4 is 4. This 4 here is the negative b or the opposite of b. Plus or minus the square root of b squared, negative 4 squared, minus 4 times the a, which is 1, times the c, which is negative 12, all over 2a. a is 1, so the denominator is just 2. Uh, the, the hardest part about using the quadratic formula is uh, to do the rational number operations or the integer operations that are necessary inside the square root sign, the b squared minus 4 times a times c. Well, any number squared is positive, so negative 4 squared is 16, and then you've got negative 4 times 1 times negative 12. You've got two two negative numbers there. The one is positive, but two negatives multiplied together. So that second term is positive. Uh, we have 16 plus 48, and that's 64. 64 is a perfect square. And as you do several of these, you should start to realize that if you get um, a perfect square inside this square root sign, that goes along with the fact that the trinomial can be factored because that's how you get rational roots or rational values of x is when um, the b squared minus 4ac or the number under the square root sign is a perfect square. So we get here x equals 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 plus 48, 64 all over 2 x equals 4 plus or minus 8 over 2. Square root of 64 is 8. So once again, 
we follow the two paths, just like we did earlier when we were completing the square. We follow the two paths, and the plus path gives us 4 plus 8 over 2, 12 over 2, or 6. And the minus path gives us 4 minus 8, or negative 4, over the 2, which is negative 2. The same uh, two results that we got previously by factoring and then also by completing the square. So when a quadratic um, equation can be solved by factoring, there's also either one or two other methods for solving it, depending on how you look at it. Completing the square, quadratic formula, they're really the same thing. So that's it. Take care.